On Capitol Hill, Catholic political nominees have been under fire for their faith. And this week, another high-profile Catholic will most likely face tough questions from the Senate Foreign Affairs Committee. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey takes a look at the recent lines of questioning and the trend. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Warren. Joseph Sellis served on President Trump's campaign Catholic Advisory Group. He's the founder of the National Catholic Prayer Breakfast and has been appointed as ambassador to Fiji. His confirmation hearing is set for Wednesday. We'll be following it closely, focusing on questions, zeroing in on the personal beliefs of this nominee. First, Catholic judicial pick, Amy Barrett. The dogma lives loudly within you. And that's of concern. Then, Protestant Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. Yes or no, do you believe gay sex is a perversion? And judicial nominee, Wendy Vitter. Do you consider yourself to be pro-life now? Professor Robert George of Princeton, a prominent Catholic, says this line of questioning is wrong. My advice for the Democrats and the progressive movement is to fight back against the elements within your own party and movement that are moving in the direction of anti-Catholic, anti-Christian bigotry. But Democrats defend their questions. Wendy Bitter is committed unalterably and unequivocally to fight women's reproductive rights. I believe that she is unfit to be a federal judge. Democrats are slowing down the process by using the maximum 30 hours of debate time allowed for each nominee. Conservative analyst Rachel Bovard says Republicans need to do more to stop Democratic obstruction. Right now, you turn on C-SPAN, you see an empty Senate floor because no one's enforcing this rule. But until Democrats come down and Republicans say, you're going to obstruct, then you have to come talk. And if they don't talk, let's move to the vote. Bovard tells me Republicans should also call Senate sessions Mondays and Fridays. She says that will give vulnerable Democrats, many of which are up for re-election this fall, less time to campaign. This week, Warren, the Senate votes on six judicial nominees. Conservatives and liberals agree the Trump administration is trying to stack the deck with conservative judges. So how does President Trump compare with previous administrations as far as the number of confirmations are concerned? Well, if we look at the overall judicial nominations that have been confirmed, uh, district as well as appeals court nominees, President Trump is behind President Obama. President Obama had uh, 41 in his first two years in office. President Trump right now, we're in May, he has 33 confirmations already in his first two years, or I guess year and a half. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey, thank you, Jason.